Hello dear viewers and welcome to T-World. Kindly hit the subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's news, the House Democrats' early evening sectarian program last week and the proceeding with hearings on the Jan. Six Capital Revolt have two points. One is to get midterm electors to contemplate some different option from wallet-busting expansion. Flooding savage wrongdoing. The child recipe deficiency and the completely open southern border. No sooner had Thursday's show finished than that objective developed considerably more subtle. Friday's noteworthy expansion numbers mean electors' agony at the siphon and grocery store will proceed. And prompted one more huge drop on Wall Street as cynicism over the economy develops. The other point of the hearings is to place an objective on Donald Trump's back. He is Speaker Nancy Pelosi's white whale and she would like just to secure him to embarrass him and ensure he doesn't run again in 2024, coming over 500 days after the horrifying assault on the Capitol. The bid to paint Trump as the genius of an endeavored upset missed the mark regarding persuading notwithstanding the way that Pelosi conceived an uneven show. Furthermore, with this being the main ideal time hearing planned before the advisory group's September report, it is far-fetched she would keep down any sensation proof of Trump's responsibility. Absolutely Trump doesn't believe he's at serious risk. I can't envision I would be arraigned. He let me know Friday. I did literally nothing off base. We have free discourse. He might not have perpetrated a wrongdoing. However there is bounty amiss with what Trump said and did. The extensive rundown starts with his two sweltering discourse that January morning. His public and confidential requests that then-Vice President Mike Pence upset the political race and his postpone in advising his rampaging allies to leave the Capitol. In any case, charging him criminally founded on what we realize would be a monster jump in any event. For Attorney General Merrick Garland's politicized Justice Department, Trump likewise communicated a similar scorn for Pelosi she has for him. These are similar individuals who made the Russia. Russia, Russia fabrication, the Mueller examination and the Ukraine lie, he said. It's a shame and they can't run the country. Check it out. It's going to damnation. I had reached the previous president by telephone after I learned Trump told a partner he was certainly running in 2024. Comparative reports have surfaced previously. And this one met a similar destiny. He wouldn't verify or refute he offered the remark. All things considered. Something must be finished however I haven't reported anything, he said. Yet. To me, I've gone with a choice. It's a close lock he is running however he sees no benefit in saying so presently. It would mean consenting to government rules on revealing raising money and consumptions and would extend the mission to an agonizing length. It could likewise change the midterm elements, the way things are. A red wave is framing and there is little potential gain credit accessible to Trump. Then again, assuming he reports early and the wave misfires, he would be accused. The last time I talked with Trump was on President's Day at Mar-a-Lago. My fundamental spotlight was on his proceeded with claims that the 2020 political decision was taken, which I see as an impasse. It's retrogressive looking and is probably going to switch off moderate Republicans and freethinkers who could some way or another be drawn to Trump's strategies, which were surely better than Biden's. I had inquired as to whether he respected concurrence with him on the taken political race as a litmus test for allies including competitors he underwrites. He demanded the response was no and asserted he discusses the last political race generally on the grounds that it's really significant for certain allies. I helped him to remember that trade and this time he didn't refer to his allies as a reason for why he discusses it so frequently, saying a great deal of things have emerged from that point forward that are essentially as hot as a gun. He was alluding to some state reviews and probably the film by Dinesh D'Souza called 2000 Mules. The two of which attempt to demonstrate his cases yet have not made serious advances among unpersuaded citizens. Utilizing the taken subject likewise fills in as a distraction for Trump to get away from any rethinking about his term or the manner in which he lobbied for reappointment, by his perspective. On the off chance that he really won the 2020 political decision, for what reason would it be advisable for him to concede any blunders? Another motivation behind why the regressive center is off track is that, regardless of whether Trump wins in 2024, there is no way around the past. Joe Biden's triumph can't be scattered. So why passed an energizing cry? Friday, interestingly. He attached his taken case to advance-looking legislative activity. Yet an unrealistic one. As he puts it, what you really want to have for secure decisions is all paper voting forms. Impromptu democratic just, an ID prerequisite and non-attendant democratic just for military positioned out of the nation and for individuals who are genuinely debilitated and can't get to the survey. He accepts early polling forms are ready for extortion and would boycott them other than for a restricted non-attendant program. The possibilities of such regulation passing Congress are zero. 
and I let him know he seemed like he needed to federalize political decision rules and supersede state control, which was a primary complaint the GOP raised against Biden's public political decision bill called the John Lewis Voting Rights Act after the late Georgia representative and social equality pioneer. The action would have made long-lasting a significant number of the careless polling form security changes states and liberal activists made in 2020 due to the pandemic. Fortunately, even with Biden making disgraceful racial allegations, the Lewis bill slowed down in the Senate. Trump's reaction to that set of experiences was to say that conservatives ought to follow through with something about casting a ballot regulation and added that you really want to have secure. Legit decisions and solid boundaries or you don't have a country, that is surely obvious. But on the other hand the facts really confirm that Trump gives the impression he's trapped before and needs a new message, despite the fact that he is plainly still an enormous power inside the GOP. His old quarrels and complaints currently sound lifeless and by 2024, they are not prone to motivate the expectation and certainty America frantically needs. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel.